Hey Fiddler Man, I was wondering if you could help tell us about staccato and the best ways to play it because I know I've started to learn it and with keeping the bow on the strings and trying to do those short quick notes um, I'm getting lots of squeaky and, and harsh noises so um, if your help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Lindsay, that's a great question and hopefully you can help a lot of other people with the same question. Now, Lindsay told me that she's working on the Arkansas Traveler from Essential Elements Book 1. They use this piece as an example, as a type of A2 to demonstrate staccato. For those of you who don't know what staccato is, it's to play short notes. It's indicated with a dot over the note and it's um, different from spiccato. Spiccato is when the bow leaves the string, you bounce the bow and often used at faster speeds. Staccato is when you leave the bow on the string. Lindsay, you're probably getting a bad sound because you're not releasing the pressure. So when you play staccato, you want to release the pressure. You want to do this half moon kind of movement with your hand. So on the Arkansas Traveler. It's this. Now, when you practice this, let's just take a D major scale because the Arkansas Traveler in the Essential Elements book was done in D major. We're going to play short notes and then release. I'm lifting the bow, but don't lift the bow. Now get the timing down. That's, that's the important thing with staccato. And then practice different tempos. I also want you to try to play two and two and maybe even four and four. So like this, two and two, two down bows, two up bows. Many people find that easier because you have the motion going in one direction, just keep it going that direction instead of changing. But it's still the same movement, it's the uh, half moon thing, the circle with your hand. So the Arkansas Traveler, you can do that too. Up, up, down, down, up. So it's all about release. And if we were to bounce the bow once again, that would be spiccato. Okay, if you have an idea for a Q&A, see the instructions beneath this video as to how you can get that to me. Submit your video and I'll be happy to take a look at it and hopefully help you out. This violin, if anybody's interested, is a Fiddler Man Master Violin. You can get that at fiddlershop.com. Thanks for watching.